I've got some things to say about this one. hope everybody's doing great out there and today we're going to be doing another hit or miss video this time for the prime one studio lieber mayho catwoman now this one has had some controversy it was shown about a year ago and now it's finally going to be up for pre-order and i wanted to share my thoughts on this piece because a lot of people were really hoping for a hush catwoman but instead we got the lieber mayho will i be ordering this or not let's check out the footage let's check out the pre-order information up next all right, guys, so let's talk about this Catwoman again from Prime One Studio. Now, again, this is inspired by Lee Bermejo. Now, Lee Bermejo, if you're not familiar, is a very realistic artist, a very real world, very gritty. And so some of his versions of things might look a little different than other traditional comic book characters um, or versions of the character. Um, we talk a little bit about the Hush Catwoman, um, how a lot of people really want that one. Well, I don't know how many people have been demanding a Bermejo Catwoman, but there is no question that this is a cool piece. However, there are things about this piece that people hate. Um, the number one thing that I have seen personally in the community is people do not like the texture on this particular suit. It is not their favorite look with that pleated look. Um, is it ideal for me personally? No, but here's the thing. I want a one-third scale Catwoman. I sold my Arkham Catwoman, and so this is definitely a version that I'm interested in picking up. Um, is it the Hush Catwoman that I'm hoping for? No. Um, will Prime One do the Hush Catwoman? They've teased her before, and so I'm still optimistic. However, I don't think it's going to be for a very long time that we see her. Obviously, this particular one that we're looking at right here will be a couple years out anyway, and so I think the, the wait is going to be very long if you're holding out for a Hush Catwoman. So again, I want a one-third scale Catwoman in my display, so I'm more than likely willing to pick this one up. Is it my perfect version of her? No, but I do think this still looks very good. Does the pleading bother me? Not really. Um, is it the perfect suit again for me? No. But anyway, I still think this is a cool piece. You guys know how much I love Lee Bermejo. I do have the Joker, so obviously this would pair up very nicely with that. Now there is going to be some different versions of this available, and that's what I want to dive in, uh, because basically we've seen these teasers um, at some of the events, and now it's finally up for pre-order. Um, and I know a lot of people are very excited about the fact that it's finally up. Um, but anyway, I wanna show you all the photos that I have here. So anyway. This is the regular that we're looking at right here. As the recording of this, uh, I don't have the um, price points yet. Uh, they haven't released that. Um, so as soon as I have that information, I will give it to you. I would imagine this is probably going to be in the $1,200, $1,300 range um, as per usual lately, um, depending on whether you get the regular or the deluxe. So the regular is going to feature basically just this one portrait. I think this portrait is okay. Uh, it is not my favorite. I would rather see her eyes. You can see her eyes through the uh, visor, uh, through those goggles. So I think that is actually really cool. You can actually see her eyes. Um, her lips are slightly parted. Um, and so again, it is a cool look but it's not my favorite of all of the portraits. Um, but if you're just gonna get one, I think if you're just gonna get the regular, I still think you're gonna be fine. But again, if I was purchasing this today, I would definitely probably pick up the deluxe. Um, here's that pleading that I was talking about. Again, not everybody likes this look. And that, again, that's been the biggest complaint has been this pleading. But again, that is uh, Bermejo style. Um, so if you don't love it, this might not be the perfect per piece for you. This might be one that you want to wait for, for that perfect version. But again, I do think this looks really good. The pleating is mostly on the back, so you don't see quite as much. Uh, you still see a lot of the, the smooth areas as well. Obviously, this also features that backpack uh, with the jewels and the, uh, the candlesticks and things sticking out the back, which is really cool. Obviously, she has just uh, you know rescued these fine pieces of jewelry from the museum. Um, and I, I do like the backpack. Again, a lot of pleating, so again, I, I see everybody's point. Um, and again, it's not my favorite, but uh, do I add her to my collection? I don't know, guys. I just don't know. Um, 
but anyway, that is the, the the back look. Now I do have the deluxe there. We're going to get to that here in just a second uh, to see some of the swap outs. But again, it gives you kind of an idea of the pose. The base here is nice. It's actually got some brickwork. You don't always see that very often in the Prime One pieces. So I do kind of like that traditional, that gray that we see so often in the Arkham pieces and the other Prime One pieces mixed with that brick. Um, I think it really adds a nice pop of color uh, that, again, we just don't normally see in the Prime One pieces. So something a little bit different, something a little bit more style which I really like and again it is that kind of that step up look which again does match with the Bermejo and the Batman damned pieces they're all they're both stepping up as well uh, you have of course that hidden Batman logo which all the prime one pieces have which looks great and then of course part of the the rooftop the chimneys um, and again it's just a nice element nice weathering you can see uh, the patina there really nicely done um, I don't know if I'm a big fan of this cat um, I, I would assume the cat is removable. I don't know if there'll be a key, um, which could be an issue, but I have heard a couple people say they don't love this cat. But again, it does add a little bit of, a little bit of pop of color, uh, whereas you know she's all in black. So again, it uh, does lose some detail there uh, in your collection. But anyway, let's move on to the, the Deluxe now. Now, the Deluxe does going, is going to feature a couple of different uh, left arm swap outs and of course, three heads. We have the regular, which we've already seen, the Deluxe in the middle, and the Deluxe smiling winking I think I really like the one in the middle I think that's basically my favorite of the portraits I think that's really cool obviously the the, the swappable parts is going to be for the uh, her holding the goggles and also, also you can obviously take off the backpack I don't know if you can take off the backpack in the regular I'm not a hundred percent sure on that um, but I do like this look right here. I think it, you know, she looks kind of like she's smirking a little bit. She's determined. She's kind of looking back like, what? <laughs> what are you going to do about it, Batman? Um, I do really like that. And again, the swap out with her instead of just her holding the backpack behind her, she actually has the um, the goggles up. Now, another thing is, though, if you have it like this, I'm assuming you can't have the backpack as well. I'm just guessing here. Maybe we'll see some photos here in a second with the backpack with her wearing that. So again, if you really like the backpack, you might just want to get the regular here. But again, I really like this portrait. I think it looks good from all angles. And I like the fact that you can see her eyes. This one, I don't know if I'm as big a fan on this one. I wish that we, maybe this would have just been the deluxe um, and the other one was part of the regular, but it is what it is. So again, I would have to get the deluxe because I do like that middle portrait. But this one, a lot, uh, Prime One does a lot of the winking, smiling things, and it looks okay. And maybe it would be a piece that would, you know, a portrait that would grow on me a little bit. But again, I just, I'm just not 100% sold on this one, but I think it still looks okay. Um, then, of course, you do have the bonus part. Now, this is the store bonus, and this is the completely unmasked Selena Kyle portrait. Um, I do like this one. I don't know if I would ever display it like this, but I think it's a beautiful portrait. Again, I just don't know. Uh, I, I like the cowl. I like the goggles. Um, but again, it's just a neat extra portrait again um, that if you order direct from Prime One, this is one that you're going to be getting. Um, this is over 27 inches tall. So again, it is third scale. And overall, I do like this one quite a bit. Um, oh, wait a minute. There is the unmasked portrait with the... Uh, so you can still have the backpack. Um, well, I guess that one doesn't have the goggles, so that does make sense. So again, you're just going to have to make a choice here, whether you, if you want the, uh, the other portraits with the, uh, the eyes and the goggles, you're going to lose the backpack here, guys. So that's something to consider. Um, the Deluxe does come with head headstands, uh, which I do appreciate very much. I think that's always nice. Um, these look a, a little bit weird to me with the, or the, the kind of the neck sticking out. But again, it's just always nice to be able to display them. It also helps if you're going to swap them out often to just have them close as a proximity piece to the statue itself. And then if you do order the bonus, you also get a third then headstand. So three headstands which is really nice um, and of course you can have the other portrait on the on the actual statue uh, it also looks like you can get a um, assigned by Bermejo print um, I know they did that with the Joker I believe as well or maybe it was the um, the Batman actually so from top to bottom again I don't have a price point yet but I'm curious as to what you guys think about this piece. Um, has this one grown on you? Uh, it's definitely grown on me at first it was a solid no I'm like I just don't love that suit but I think it is a very good statue. I like the pose here. It's something a little bit different. Um, 
would I still prefer a hush Catwoman? Yes, 100%. I would definitely prefer that. And, you know, if I pick this one up and enjoy it for a year or so, and then they come out with the hush, maybe I'll, I'll swap it out. Um, and so I think that's okay. Again, we're talking about three or four years from now. So, um, I, again, I would love for them to tease a hush Catwoman, but we're not guaranteed that. We're not guaranteed that. So this way we, we would at least be guaranteed a third scale Catwoman to add to my comic book collection and, you know, add to yours as well if you were collecting these pieces. And again, I do think it would match up very nicely if you have the Damned and the Joker um, as well from Bermejo. I think they're all going to look really great together. But basically, this is what you're getting with the Deluxe. You're getting two portraits. You might as well get the, the store bonus as well because it's always nice to have that extra portrait. And you might like it in hand more than you think. Um, at least I have experienced that myself. But anyway, I think it looks great. Uh, is it the ideal Catwoman for me? No. But again, I am really excited about the fact of adding a third scale Catwoman, especially since I sold my Arkham one. Um, but again, I am going to put it over to you. What do you guys think about this one? Is it something that you're interested in or are you going to be a hard pass uh, because of the, the suit texture? Or are you going to hold out for that elusive hush Catwoman that, again, we've all been waiting for? I would love to know your thoughts uh, in the comments down below. Again, thank you guys so very much for checking out this video today. Uh, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, click that notification bell, hit that join button down below for early access to our videos. And just thank you for taking time once again out of your day to check out my thoughts. Uh, is this a hit or miss? For me, it is a hit. It's not a super hit, but it is a hit uh, because I do think it looks good. I think this will be a popular piece among collectors, and uh, I think it's, uh, there's a real potential for it selling out um, because, again, there's not a lot of third-scale Catwoman on the market uh, unless you get the Arkham one. And the Arkham one's great, and it still does pair up with the comic book pieces pretty well. I like that this is a smaller footprint um, than that other giant base that the Arkham one was. But anyway, I'll probably be picking this one up. Again, I do want to know whether you are going to as well. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you soon right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.